a river of ice the size of Great Britain. This is Thwaites Glacier, one of the biggest in Antarctica. Currently, any flow of water is held back from entering the ocean by an ice shelf, a floating extension of the glacier. But this shelf is cracking at an alarming rate. Like cracks on a windscreen, um, it's fracturing at the surface. So we're finding that these cracks and these crevasses and, and, and fractures are spreading out across the ice surface essentially weakening its fabric and, and allowing it to eventually collapse. Um, so I think, I think we're surprised because of the rate of change that these um, processes are occurring is, is quicker than we were expecting. Um, the suggestion is that it will collapse um, within possibly five years, but certainly within the next couple of decades. The ice melt draining from Thwaites into the Amundsen Sea already accounts for 4% of rising sea levels. Warm ocean water is getting underneath the glacier, weakening and melting the ice shelf, putting it at risk of collapse. Scientists fear that if the Thwaites Glacier were to melt entirely, sea levels could rise by as much as 65 centimetres. The impact of this would be felt throughout the world, including in the UK. We may see direct impacts such as flooding, or also indirect impacts such as salinisation of groundwater. And we're going to have to be prepared to respond to that, either building new barriers such as the Thames Barrier in uh, London or being prepared to use our coastlines in a different way. For example, accepting that some areas may be lost and being prepared to move towns and infrastructure away from our current coasts. The ice at Thwaites Glacier is changing dramatically. It won't vanish overnight. Instead, this process will take decades, if not centuries. But it is melting rapidly and that will affect us all. Charlotte Lomas, Sky News.